All right, friends, how are you today? Aaron here bringing your daily horoscope for the 30th of September 2019. Monday, starting the week off strong. We've got the moon moving out of Libra into Scorpio, going deep within, right? As the leaves start to crisp up and fall off of the trees, all of the energy is sucked inward during Scorpio season. And that's exactly where we're going with the moon. The moon is going inward. It's like we have all of this new information that's come to light over the weekend, and we need to process this information. We need to integrate it, okay? Now, the moon moving into Scorpio is opposing Uranus there in Taurus. So it's like we have this new information, new insight. We know what we need. The moon is all about what we need, what the emotional body needs. So we know what we need, and then across the way over there, we have Taurus, the most stable, stubborn sign in the zodiac, the sign that does not want to change. And we have Uranus, the great awakener, okay, turning on the light, saying, let's change, let's create change. You know, this opposition here uh, is a bit of tension, okay? So we know what we need, but are we going to follow through and do it? Are we going to create the change necessary in our lives that's going to bring us to the next place? It's up to you. Further, let me show you the chart here. We've got some really funky aspects going on here, some very cool aspects as well. We've got uh, Venus, okay, creating a sextile to Jupiter. That's this dotted line right there. Doot, 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 doot. The dotted line. This is, this is cooperative energy between two different uh, signs, okay? We've got the fire sign here and an air sign here, the sextile. So fire and air, this is creative energy. This is, uh, you know, creation, creation, destruction, okay? Now we have Venus creating a square here to Pluto, okay? And we cannot ignore this Pluto quintile over here to Chiron. In Aries. All right, so first, let's come back here to Venus. Venus is creating the sextile to Jupiter. What I need, what I love, what I desire is more information. I need more information to figure out my own personal expansion. I need more information to figure out how to, you know, to figure out how I'm dealing with all of this. Uh, what, what do I need in order to create this change in my life? Okay, and Pluto is all about death and destruction and rebirth and going in deeper. And here in Capricorn, this is about how we govern ourselves, okay, our public image. Yeah. So so this, this square between Venus and Pluto, this needs our attention. Okay. This needs our attention. But we're being aided by Jupiter here. There's a lot of information that comes along that's going to help us uh, you know, this is our left and our right. Get us in balance so that we can walk properly down the street. Now, further, as you see this other one here, this little uh, light purple line, that's a septile between Mercury and Jupiter, okay? Now, that septile, this is faded information, okay? That's, that's like destiny, okay? Fate, destiny, this is otherworldly energy. Exciting stuff, okay? So we may have some tension today, from what we love and want and desire and where we're going, seeing, you know, in the future. But we have Mercury creating that septile to Jupiter, which again, this is faded information. The gods are smiling down upon us. You know, it's like the clouds part ways and the sun shines down upon you and there's this little, you know, oh, spot. And it's just like, ah, the aha, you know. So Jupiter being home in Sagittarius is all about the information. It's about, you know, the faith and the, the higher consciousness, higher learning. Mercury and Libra, we're talking about the balancing scales of the zodiac. Okay, everything else is an animal or Gemini, the two people. Libra is the balancing point, you know, how we balance ourselves in the zodiac. So we have the stellium in Libra. We have Mercury in Libra. We have Venus in Libra. We have the sun in Libra. Okay. We're trying to create balance in our lives. And that's not something that you just achieve. Well, I achieved, ba I achieved balance when I was 16 years old and I've never had to work at it again in the day of my life. You know, it's like, no, that's not how balance works. You know, to be a balanced individual, it's a conscious effort every day and every decision that we make. Yeah. So, so we're working on our own personal balance while we're letting go of some of the older things that, uh, you know, older opinions, older ideas that, that no longer serve us 
in order for us to create this balance, in order for us to create the harmony within ourselves. Yeah. And we know that we need to change certain things about ourselves. We need to, again, let go of old, stubborn uh, habits. Again, this Uranus down there in Taurus is going to be there for seven years, slowly changing the way that we, you know, some of our old views, okay, our older traditions, these things, again, that no longer serve us. We need to reinvent this wheel. Now, you know, we're going from the, the, the wheel of the horse and buggy to the wheel of the car and from the wheel of, of the um, current automobile with gasoline into, you know, with fossil fuels into this new Tesla. And then we got the Tesla. Now we have hydrogen cars, which is the future. You know, you don't actually need to charge up your car for 20 hours or whatever it is. So it's like we're constantly creating steps and steps and steps to, to, to move to a, a better balance for our person. You know, there in the automobile thing, I'm talking about uh, ourselves and the planet. Well, this is just about us. We're creating balance within ourselves and our relationships with others. Because that's what Libra season's all about. It's our relationship with us and you, with me and you, with other people. So we love, we each love, we all, we all have our own desires. We all have you know, certain things that get us excited and get us going in the morning. And there are certain things, there are certain things astrologically I have not shared with you on this channel because I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm being serious. I'm being very vulnerable in saying that. And that's what this kind of energy is like. It's just like there are certain things that we love and, and that we get really excited about. But then it's like, well, this is our public image. And if you start saying things like this, you start... <laughs> You know, you talk about this part of astrology, you can really turn a lot of heads either, you know, away or toward. The information's coming. Don't worry. I'm going to give it all to you. But, but that, you know, I'm using myself as an example at this point. You know, like, I, it's... Uh, Sometimes we we got to be careful on how on how you know and we just jump out and say certain things and it's just like oh wow I don't know about that person they're you know they're into weird conspiracy theories or they're into some some weird this or this and then that can damage us okay so it's just like our own personal loves and passions it's just like no no this stuff has got to we've got to shine you know we've got to shine our light bright bright light light bright light bright anyway you get it. You know, so it's like our own passions. And then what's going to happen is, is it's like, okay, whoever doesn't align with the things that you're saying is going to fall aside. And then, and then those who align, you know, that's a magnet are going to come to that. So to not be afraid to love, not be afraid to desire, not be afraid to communicate and speak some of those things that you do love and desire. You have the universe on your back today. Okay, so we, again, we have that faded information coming in. And we are going inward in our journey starting this week on Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday, you know, kind of an inward journey. So it's a little bit more, not as sociable, not as get out there. I mean, if we're, we're being sociable, it's still, it's about like those, you know, those good, like under the surface conversations, you know, it's, it's just not, we're not just surface level talk this next couple of days. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Faded, faded destiny, destiny. Okay doesn't get cooler than that. So a little bit of destiny, a little bit of balance, good information coming in, you know, figuring out how to communicate properly the things that, that are, you know, deep in our heart. How can we express ourselves? It's all coming into the light. It's a beautiful day. Have a happy Monday and we'll see you tomorrow.